Hey guys, this is Goku and on this channel we talk about poker and ideas that can improve your life. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click the subscribe button because I'll be honored to have you here. Today we're going to jump into another GTO trainer session. We're playing on a simple GTO trainer and uh, we've just finished playing the, the previous uh, No Limit Hold'em spot and I was just kind of uh, drawn towards this one, uh, this drill mode, whatever this means, I guess we will see soon. Uh, BB versus button, MTT spot, 50 B blind stacks, 3 bet pop, C betting. Uh, it is just too interesting for me not to try this out, so let's try it out. I wonder if this will be the same. Okay, now we have now we have something else. We have actually frequencies, it looks like. So we can see how often we would like to do what. So this will be fun. Uh we can take a look at the the range. So this is button versus big blind, okay. Uh, yeah, 50 big blind stacks. And on the on the big blind, here's our range. So a ten suited plus is king. Seventy five percent of the time, not a lot of ace queen. Just I guess one ace queen here, or three percent of the time, uh, and the remainder is raising. Ace jack off is raising uh, a lot of ace 10 offs are raising two. Oh no 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 sorry it's three bet pot c betting. So this pot was three bet, right? So this is our three bet uh frequency. It's not calling on the big blind. So yeah, we're not three betting off on here with ace queen off or with ace jack off uh and so on. So here's what our range looks like when we three bet from the from the big blind. It's even got a a tiny bit of king ten suited, and surprisingly more king ten off. Uh, yeah, if we take a look at this, we're even the solver is even doing that with jack six off very rarely but it is uh yeah of course you know this is a solver's range normal people's range won't be like that you will not have one percent of jack six off uh you will not have this hand at all or queen six off or queen seven off or jack seven off or ten seven off you will not have these hands uh, instead you will have more a six offs and a seven offs and and so on You'll probably uh, compose your range more based on, uh, you know, easily recognizable hands and not stuff like Jack Six Off, which is, uh, yeah. And uh, the the villain's range on the button, uh, here's what he's calling uh, with. Um, On the button, so he's calling with all suited aces uh, except for ace king suited and just half of ace four suited. When it comes to the off suit hands, we see ace six off, ace three off, ace deuce off, ace four off are not calling, uh, are only calling, are not calling at all, or only calling a little bit, and then. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I probably should not focus on this too much because you you, you guys can just uh, yeah, briefly take a look at this and you see it and me explaining it will take too too long. So what do we do uh, in terms of the seabed with pocket nines on a board like this from the big blind? I think we will mainly continue for a third pod 
but I don't think we're doing any shoving. All right, it's also a 50 blank pot. We're not doing any shoving here. I think we're doing uh, 15 percent of checking. Let's uh, try that. And how we can take a look at the solver. So yeah, the solver is doing more less than 15%. It's doing 7.75% of checking. Uh, so cool. Now we've got pocket eights on a 589. And uh, again, we're not doing any shoving with this hand. We're doing uh, we're doing more checking here, I think. We're doing like 50 50 here. Let's try that. And uh, solver is doing 100% checking here, so it's not uh, betting 50% like we did. It's just doing 100% of checking. Okay. Pocket nines on a 510 queen. Again, we're not doing any uh, shoving here. With pocket nines, we're gonna do something like 75% of better of the pot. Maybe even more than that. I think it's like 85. And uh, yeah, it's even more again. The GTO is doing 96% of C betting here and only checking 5% of the time. Now we've got Ace King off on a Queen King 7. Uh, again, we're not doing any shoving. We're gonna do here, uh, yeah, something like a, a nice 90% of C betting. And again, GTO prefers C betting 100% with, with Ace King on this board. So we should not be doing this 10% of checking here. And of course, probably in real life, I am doing 100%. But now, just to show how sophisticated my strategy is, uh, I try to pick some percentage. But as you can see, I'm mainly. Uh, quite off balance here but who knows maybe we can uh, improve it a little bit at least the feeling and now with ace 10 off on a four king five with two hearts i think we're c betting like uh, a nice 80 percent of the time and uh, Villa, the villain the solver almost agrees with us it's doing 87 percent uh, so that's not that far off. Now we've got 9-5 suited on a 3-4-6. I think this is a significantly bigger checking percentage. I think this will be like... Is it 50-50? Mm, maybe even more. Uh, let's try 50-50. It's 66 to 34, uh, so more checking. And I was actually thinking about uh, moving the it towards more checking, but yeah, we're not that far off, so that's good. Pocket tens on a tray six king. Again, no shoving, and uh, something like a 20 80. Or maybe not. I think it's more like. Is it a hundred percent? It is. Nice. Pocket tens on an ace ace jack. Again, no shoving. It's gonna be. Do we ever check here with pocket tens? I don't think so. It's gonna be a hundred percent for me, but the solver would actually uh, check it 
almost 14% of the time. Okay, pocket queens on a tray eight seven. Uh, we're not shoving. We're doing 10% of checking. We're doing 4% of checking. Okay. Ace three off. No shoving. Uh, fifteen percent of checking. Twelve percent of checking. We're getting ever so close to the sweet spot. Asking off on a seven ten deuce with two hearts. Uh, this is probably something like 20% checking. And it's more, it's 33% checking. Queen five off on a six, six, nine. This has got to be, uh, Again, it feels like something like 15% and it's a hundred percent bet. Okay, king queen suited on a deuce for five. We're gonna continue here 90% of the time. And we should be doing 76.5. Okay, queen jack suited on a seven, eight, ten. This is a uh, 70, 30, is that it? Hey, it's 36 to 64. Pretty much on point here. A seven off on a six, seven king. This is gonna be uh They're gonna be a hundred percent. It is a hundred percent. Nice. Jack eight off on an eight nine ace. Uh, we're gonna do here. Are we going to do any checking here? Probably not. It's not a hundred percent. But the solver disagrees. It would check here eight percent of the time. Okay, queen 10 off on an ace jack 10. This is gonna be uh, 2080. No, it's more, much more clearer than that. It's 97% betting, just 3% checking. I would imagine checking here more often than that, but I guess that's uh, that's wrong. Pocket threes on a five seven queen. This uh, this has got to be something like ten percent checking. Nope, it's a hundred percent checking. It's a hundred percent betting. Okay. King Jack off on a seven eight Jack. That's again close to a hundred, I would say, but I'll give five percent. And that's I shouldn't. I should not check here at all. Just betting. Okay, nine seven of clubs on a King King four. This has got to be a uh, hundred percent continue, and it's a ninety-two percent check. So this hand we just given up.
Yeah, I guess that's because he probably continues with way too many uh, of his range on such a board. So it doesn't really make sense to build a, a bigger pot with our pretty terrible uh, hand here. Okay, jack 7 off on a 7-9 jack. This maybe has some <laughs> shoving, but I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to go for 10% of checking. And it's uh, significantly more than that, 25.5 of checking here. Ace King off on a 7, 7, 10. Uh, that's going to be, are we checking here? Yeah, I think we are, maybe even 20%. And right on point, 22%. Ace 10 suited on a deuce 9 7. We're gonna check like 5% here. Just for the heck of it. And no, we should actually be checking more. 18.5 here. Jack 9 off on a deuce 4 9. We are continuing. Hundred percent here, and the solver agrees. And Jack eight off on a five ten queen. I think we're gonna have like a thirty percent check here, and it's not right. Just ten percent check. But uh, cool. What does this add mean? I'm just curious. Oh, it's a replay. Okay, R means uh, I can replay this. And E is again a value int. Okay, cool. We can take a look at this. Uh, and here it looks, you can see GTO deviation in percentages. And also EV loss, as you can see, the EV loss is almost nothing. And the actions, yeah, you, you see, this is just super small. Uh, differences so it's it's hard to even say too much about this uh, about the results of this session is it good is it bad is it okay I have no idea I felt I, I, I did pretty well but and these differences are so small and they're not really realistic right I mean humans are not machines it's not like I'm going to play this spot here perfectly. I'm going to do 95.91% of betting and 4.09% of checking. But anyways, it's uh, it's been fun playing this. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, the EV per 100 hands is just minus 1.31. So pretty much nothing. And uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed uh, watching this quite different drill mode session. Uh, I'm actually not sure if I should complete this, if I should complete a hundred hands of this. Uh, so I don't know what I will play next. Guess I will decide tomorrow. Uh, but but it looks interesting and, and maybe I will try tomorrow some different spot uh, in this drill mode just to, to get a few for it. Or I will continue and, and play a hundred hands of this and maybe, you know, in the next session I will make some huge errors and it would only turn out that this session was so great. 
uh, but we are yet to see all that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you stayed this long, please leave a comment below. Just write GTO or ask any question you might have. Uh, if you're interested in, in watching other GTO trainer sessions or, or videos similar to, to the ones that you've just watched, you can take a look at the comment section, uh, actually the, the description of this video, not the comment section, uh, where you can find the links to different playlists with the previous GTO spots I've played on, on Simple GTO Trainer, but also on the WPT GTO Trainer. These are kind of fun. Um, I'm learning a lot. I hope you guys are learning uh, with me at least a little bit. But I really uh, recommend you, you check it out yourself and, and play yourself. It's super fun. So once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.